Hey guys, I wanted to film this makeup routine for you today because I wanted to share some tips and tricks of what I do with my makeup. So yeah, if you want to see how to get this warm tone look, then make sure to stay tuned and follow the makeup routine. Pause it, stop it, try it yourself, get involved and let me know how you get on. Um, I'm going to put on this headband just to keep back any hair on my face. Um, I don't normally use this for my makeup, but I just thought why not give you guys a little bit of something to look at, it's quite nice. So what I do normally first is obviously I have prepped my skin already, I've done my exfoliating, cleansing, moisturising and also my SPF. To start off with, I'm just going to be doing like a quick and easy routine. I'm in the autumn season so I'm going to be using a lot more warmer tone colours today and hopefully you guys enjoy. I'm in my bedroom because I want it to be a bit more personal because this is where I do my makeup every day. Um, and I've also got a mirror that I'm going to be using as well. I don't normally use this mirror. I normally, as you can see, I use the mirror at the back but I wanted to do it for filming. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my trusted beauty blender if you guys haven't got this already make sure that you invest in the beauty blender i really highly recommend it's really good because it gets into all the all the um, fine lines and wrinkles um, and also it really makes it a lot easier to blend always always use it when it's a little bit wet and damp as well because otherwise you might find that it's dragging the skin and it's quite dry and the product that i'm using as well i'm going to go for quite a light effect on the face i'm going to be using garnier the bb cream and this is in the shade medium so so let's go ahead. As you can see, my face, I have broken out a little bit and also I have do suffer with dark circles. So straight away, using your blender, you don't ever drag the dab in. So as you can see, straight away dabbing in. Um, the good thing about this, it feels really, really light and airy. Um, so yeah, this is what I like to use for a day to day. Um, I find that really, really thick foundation. I don't like using every day because it. I do see a difference in the pores. I find that they do clog up quite a lot as well. Um, as you can see, it's given a nice effect all over the skin already. Um, and I'm just going to continue to do that way over the whole face. I always start in the middle um, and then I drag it out. As you can see, it's given a really nice um, like smooth effect on the face. I am a massive believer in, in skincare as well. Always make sure you're doing a good skincare routine because it really makes a difference when applying your makeup. So straight away, I'm going for quite a light coverage because I don't want to do too much. But this is what I do on a daily basis. So it's very, very light. Um, and when my clients come visit me, you'll see that my foundation isn't overly thick. I like to keep it really, really natural as much as I can. And whatever you do to your face, you always do down to your neck as well. Okay, so I feel like that's blended in really nicely. I'm really liking the effect of that now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move on to the concealer. I actually use a kind of a warmer undertone concealer because I know that I've got a warmer undertone skin. This is a liquid concealer. It's a medium coverage as well. What you do is I do a triangle motion. So under the eye, I then bring it down and then like that. So you want a triangle effect um, and that's going to really help brighten the whole face. As you can see, a lot better the triangle motion. You don't be shy with it. Um, don't worry about just doing it under the eye. Definitely, definitely think about bringing your blender back as well. It becomes your best friend. Um, and then blending that all in really, really nicely. More of a more natural blend. And that's what I'm looking for, a natural blend. So yeah, straight away, that's my foundation done. So the next top tip, definitely, definitely never ever miss out on is my eyebrows. I use an eyebrow pencil that has the um, colour on the end and then the brush on the other end because I want to make sure that it's looking as natural as possible. My eyebrows look quite thick today because I did earlier on tint them and I'm going to be doing a video very very soon about how to tint your eyebrows because it's very very important. If you don't tint your eyebrows I definitely recommend it. I don't feel like anyone um, has to avoid it because of lighter hair color or darker there's an eyebrow tint for everyone so as you can see i use the brush just to see um where the eyebrows are naturally placed as well i want to make sure that they look nice and natural and then what i do is hopefully you can see this on the camera is i just draw on slightly um so as you can see just a little bit drawn on nothing too much i don't draw the whole eyebrow on and then using this the brush at the end I will bring it the whole way through. A really nice finish to the eyebrow. It looks quite brown on camera, but in real life, it blends in really, really nicely. So straight away again, just doing the front slightly. 
and then using the brush and dragging it through. So as you can see already, really, really uplift the face, really, really happy with them. So I'm going to move on now to the next step. Okay, so the next step that I'm going to be doing now is eyeshadow. Um, I'm going to be, I'm going to be keeping it quite natural because it is something that I do every day. And I'm going to be going for these two colours. So something a bit lighter and something a bit warmer as well. Sometimes I might go for something a bit sparkly, but I definitely are more for the natural palette. So how I do my eyeshadow is, obviously everyone's different, but I always find it easiest when I just take a little bit of the colour and then if you find that a lot's on there, just maybe wipe it off near your hand and then what you want to do is circular movement. So straight away, going along the whole eyelid cut crease, I don't go up to the top. Some people go up to the top, but that's just not me. I prefer to keep things a lot more natural and just um, keeping it very close to the eyelid. If you've got any fine lines or wrinkles in that area, then you can go a little bit further up if you find that um, your eyelids are smaller and um, you're getting that kind of the drop. So, you know, just doing that kind of nice circular motion. So make sure you're blending it in. And then I do it on the other side as well it a really nice warmth and that's what I want I just want something that's quite nice and warm nothing too much um, just to give that kind of lift by the face so yeah so it's been doing a lot nicer and that was so simple see how simple these round circle movements are if you want something a bit more natural then go for rather than the color that I went for there maybe something a little bit lighter like one of these something a bit more um, like the skin color it's gonna give that warmth but that lift by the face as well so yeah, we like how that's blended in now. I'm now going to do the mascara. It's mascara. I'm going to apply the mascara. There's no real art to it. I just always find that I just do the top of my lashes more than the bottom. Some people, you can get these, these tips. Here's a longer tip and then the smaller tip. The longer tip's obviously for the top of your lashes and then the smaller ones for the bottom. I'm just going to apply that on now. How much more of a lift that's given on one side of the face. When you just, when you apply mascara, oh, it's just such a difference. The reason my lashes are a little bit everywhere at the moment is because I actually did my own eyelash lift and it was amazing. Um, but right now they all start to drop back down, look a bit funny, so I will be redoing another one. Um, if anyone wants to see that, let me know, I'll do a video on it. Love doing videos for you guys, so you guys can learn different tips and tricks. So now I'm going to do it to the other side now and you see how the, all the eyes will start to lift. Um, a little thing before I do the other side though, for the small section I was talking about, I just use a small section just to kind of give that little bit of effect but not too much because no one wants spider's legs on the bottom of their eyelids. That's how I see it when someone's got a bit too much on there. It looks quite harsh um, and that's something that we want to avoid. I'm pretty happy with them now. The mascara looks nice and full. That's the effect that I wanted. I didn't want anything too heavy. Anyone, hands up if you love to contour. I love to contour especially for the evening. Um, I find that it makes a huge difference to my face. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you um my tips and tricks for contouring using my palette which is this one i'm going to be using the bronzy tone for my contouring down hair and then i'm going to be using a different product to really highlight how i do it is to remember it is like a three so along the forehead along the cheekbone and along the jawline is what i'm going to be doing and a little bit down the neck as well so straight away taking the brown color that i spoke to you about a minute ago and I am now going to start the contouring. Really, really good. The good thing about contouring is it's about practicing. So I do it a lot. So what I do is I do circular motions. You can see straight away when I bring that in there. So doing the three, like I said before. So circular motions as well, bringing it down as well. I find that when you do the contouring, it really makes a difference to your face. I do have a liquid contour too, but I just wanted to kind of keep it simple for you guys out there who are, who are looking for quite a quick routine, if you want something a lot quicker. Obviously I'm talking you through it, so it's taking me a bit longer. Um, I will say as well, if you are prone to like spots or oily skin, powder is probably better for you. Um, but if it's vice versa, if your skin's quite dry, you might find that the liquid's better for you. You can build it up as much as you want. As you can see, see how you're getting that definition there now compared to this side. So you can see already how it's starting to really define the face and that's what I want. 
Um, how to find your contour colour is two to three shades darker than your foundation. Um, you do want a slight effect, so as you can see straight away, um, it is really starting to blend in nicely. My face is a lot warmer now that I've done this. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but already you can see the definition. Um, I like to really enhance the, the cheekbones, so for example, I would go a lot more heavy on this bit. Can you see that there? So you can see already how this is really starting to define this area. Um, and then also I can blend that in and bring it down as well. Because you don't want your neck to look a different colour to your face. It's one of the worst looks ever. You want to make sure that you really are blending it in. But again, this is a lot for an everyday routine. This isn't. This is just a routine that I'm showing you different steps. But normally on day to day, I might do my foundation, favorite lip color, mascara done. You know, and a little bit of blush. So I'm now going to bring in the next side as well, and hopefully you can see it all come together really nicely. I'm now going back to my damp blender, and I'm about to use my highlighter. This is the glow. So. For example, I'm going to be putting this in the areas that I didn't apply the contour. I'm going to be putting it into the areas that has the, just above my cheekbones or on the cheekbones, whatever's best. Um, I, you can see here that when I do that, can you see how that shine that's there? That's what contouring is. It's going to really enhance your features and that's what I want. So I put it there. I put a little bit on the forehead as well to give that kind of nice natural glow and then I will also put it just on the other side here as well. Um, it's really, really nice. I find that highlighting especially is really nice for if you're going out um, and you want it to look a little bit different. You can see already that if you put a little bit there um, and then also some people put it on a little tip on the nose and a little bit between their forehead as well just to give that overall shine highlighting gives that really nice natural glow you can see the shine that's coming there that's what I want so it's really nice and natural nice highlighting and contouring and then also I don't want to overdo it because it's just something that I like to do I like to keep my makeup natural but at the same time that little bit of a pump to really enhance your features I think it's really really important not to overdo your face because sometimes you can look a lot harsher so really really be careful and mindful of how much you are putting on what I do now is so back to the highlighter which I was talking about a minute ago on there what I'll do sometimes is is to give it that little bit more pop I will actually put this on to the liquid so powder after the liquid you can see how when I put that a little bit there how much more shinier that looks in them areas I will also do a little bit on top of the forehead again and to really make your eye stand out I think it's really important to bring a little bit more highlighter to the eye as well so you might decide that you just want to put a little bit of highlighter in the middle you can see already how that's really picking up the eye can you see that on there and that's what I want I want a really really nice um, effect that's going to really make my eye stand out a lot more it's one of my favourite things to do. Um, I think it goes such a long way. It's a small, small makeup application, very quick, but then really, really helps the face really give that pop. I love doing lipsticks or lip balms. I feel like it really gives you that pop to your face. I'm doing more of a natural today though. So what I'm gonna do is, I was kind of deciding between two. I love, this is from Trini London. Um, I kind of got like this corally tone. It's very, very natural for the daytime. But then I've also got my NYX, soft matte as well which is more of a kind of warmer brownie tone color i'm going to show you both so straight away just get in my finger on there always make sure your hands are clean because you're always putting your hands into the pot and then what i do is i just going to apply a little bit onto the lip it gives a nice warm tone corally effect because i'm a warmer undertone I do is I actually actually mix I put the Trini and then I put my brown tone on there like that let my hair down and then that's my makeup routine I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really, really enjoyed filming for you. As you can see, I can look a lot better than when I started. And I'm going to link you some of the items above as well if you are interested in purchasing any. So, yeah. 
Take care of yourselves and make sure you share your makeup looks with me. See ya!